Well, once tobacco was a premier crop among farmers in the Tri Cities, but since major changes to the tobacco industry have gone into effect, where does tobacco farming stand now? Blake Lipton spoke with local farmers and agriculture experts to learn about the state of tobacco in the Tri Cities. Tobacco have dropped over the years, and with increasing labor and production costs, the number of tobacco farmers in the Tri Cities have also decreased. But that's not stopping one Washington County family who's been growing the crop for centuries. Since the late 1700s, the Crouch family has been farming tobacco at Oak Hill Farm. Father and son duo Larry and Jason Crouch now oversee the operation. My dad used to like to say it's about a 13 month out of the year job. You know, once you're wrapping up the crop from this year, you're already planning and trying to get things organized for the next season. This year, Jason Crouch says the lack of rainfall in the hotter parts of July and August allowed the plants to become more stressed. Probably didn't do as well in the field as we would have hoped this year. It burned up a little bit in the field and lost some, some weight and some of the lower leaves there. Right now, Oak Hill Farm is in the process of stripping and baling this year's crop to get it ready for market. The farm is in contract with both Burley Stabilization and R.J. Reynolds. Burley tobacco has always been the type of tobacco grown in the Tri-Cities, but the number of farmers growing it have decreased over the years. You would talk 20 years ago and you couldn't drive two miles without seeing tobacco just here, there, and everywhere. Um, you have to really get off the beaten path to, to find tobacco fields now. Anthony Shelton with the UT Agriculture Extension in Washington County says the market for tobacco changed in 2004 with the tobacco buyout. Prices that were once federally controlled now shifted to in-depth contract systems. In addition to lowered consumption and increased production costs, he says tobacco prices fell, making profitability more difficult to obtain for smaller farmers. You have to have a really good crop, doing the labor yourself and all that to really make those profits nowadays with that big price change. Shelton says about a fourth of the people in the region growing tobacco 10 years ago are still growing today. As long as the companies will... will We'll buy it and we'll, we'll try to grow some. Now, Shelton says most of the Tri Cities tobacco production is in the lower part of Washington County, Greene County, and a few spots in Sullivan County. He also says most of the Burley tobacco production and purchasing has shifted to Middle Tennessee and Kentucky.